How's it going guys? Arif here in beautiful Albert Park. Let's talk about the New Zealand Working Holiday Visa. So the New Zealand Working Holiday Visa for Malaysians is a visa that allows you to stay in New Zealand for six months and the work is anything you want as long as it isn't a permanent job, which is basically jobs that give you a probation period and have health benefits for employees. Oh, also you can't work in or in anything related to the sex industry. Now you can actually extend this visa to nine months, but you know, you do have to fulfill certain criteria first, like for example, um, having to work in the horticultural industry for at least three months, and of course applying for a working holiday visa extension. So the visa itself is actually open to roughly 1,150 Malaysians from all over the world sometime in January. So you'll have to keep checking the immigration website itself to see the actual date once it's released. To apply, you have to be between the age range of 18 to 30 years old. Now, this works as long as you've had your 18th birthday or before your 31st birthday. You also need to have 2,250 New Zealand dollars as proof of finances, which they actually might check when you arrive. You also have to be healthy and not have committed a crime that has required you to appear in court. And you have to make sure your passport is valid for at least nine months after you first arrive in New Zealand and show a flight ticket leaving New Zealand or enough money to buy one on top of that $2,250 proof of finances. Now, obviously the info is subject to change. So make sure you check out the website first for all the latest updates. When you apply, there is a processing fee that is roughly $208, which I would recommend paying with a credit card. This is because if you do use a debit card or anything like that, there might be a delay in processing that payment and you wouldn't want that now, would you? So once you've made payment, there is an extremely high chance that you'll get the visa. And this is because they typically close the applications once the quota of people who've applied and finalized payment has been reached. So rest assured, as long as you meet the requirements before applying, you don't have to worry about the money being burned. You just need to worry about actually getting to the page to make the payment itself. Now, once you've gotten the visa, you do have 365 days to enter New Zealand. If you don't enter within the year, the visa will be terminated. And because you've technically already gotten the visa, you won't actually be eligible to reapply for the following year. And on that note, the six month period of the visa itself starts the moment you arrive. So it starts when the immigration officer at the gates actually stamps your passport. So applications are going to be opening on the 24th of January 2018 at 10 a.m. New Zealand time, which is basically 5 a.m. Malaysia time. So if anything, I wish you guys all the best. Good luck. And yeah, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends if you want to. Go ahead and comment what you guys want to see from my channel. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.